Hey guys, quick tutorial on how you can turn your respawn pod, your, you know, escape vessel, whatever, the thing you land with, into an airspeeder without ever actually landing with it. So, let's pick Earth-like. It could be any of them that have a drop pod that drops with the, uh, the air... Uh, with the parachute. Um, do, 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 do. Heck, uh, I'm feeling alien today. Alien. As soon as you load, press K, unblock the hidden blocks, grab your atmospheric thrusters, and turn them on. Now, you will slow down and come to a stop. Once you're at that point, if you press F, you will be standing on top of the pod. Press X and fly upward. One of the things that you want to make sure you don't do is don't bump into the pod. That's going to cause the pod to start shifting and sliding around and that'll be a problem. Next first thing you want to do is grab your hydrogen bottle because you're flying around up here and you're gonna have trouble. Don't feel the limited to avoid the survival kit you can recharge as much as you want but we're here now and look at that i don't see any ice lakes nearby i want to be able to find one first things first so come underneath find the front there's the front the forward and backward landing gear you want to leave in place but the side one you want to start grinding Ugh, sorry for the loud noise. Get it below the functional line and then weld it back up. That will unlock one of the blocks you need to be able to keep going. But you're going to need all these parts from this landing gear and this landing gear. You are also going to need the parts from this hydrogen thruster. this timer block and the beacon behind the timer block. But not all of them. You can leave the steel plate. Now, go back up to the top of the ship here. And, and placing these things can vary depending on where you want to put them, but grab a few of the steel plates. And, last but not least, this parachute. Now, you got to be really careful. You don't want to slam into your ship where it's hovering right now. Grab everything but the steel plate there. Now, let's start putting things on. One of the really scary bits is when you place a new block on the ship that it's floating like this, there's a chance it will fall out of the sky. Hopefully it catches itself. So, grab your remote control, place it in the correct orientation. And forward is... Uh, I mean, it's... It, you can have it be forward whichever direction you want to, but let's keep it with the direction that you're facing when you sit down. That's forward as compared to the chair. It is looking through that sensor on the front in the direction it travels. Place it. Get your welder back out and weld it up. You need to weld this in order to unlock the thrusters that you're going to build next. Now, pull up your large atmospheric thruster. I mean, you're going to be using a small one, but whatever. And a gyroscope. Now, your gyroscope is another block that you can put in wherever you want to, but having it be there is important. You're going to need one more computer to get this done, which means you need to pull it out of the cargo container right here. Now while you're here, you might want to unlock cargo containers. Either way, get the computer. Get back up to your gyroscope and finish it off. Now comes the tricky part. You're going to want to remove those two 
forward thrusters and place them to the left and to the forward. The pod can be supported on the thrust power of two of these thrusters. And this is the scary part. Because when you go to place a new thruster on the ship, it's going to try and recalculate where its thrust vectors are, and it'll drop beneath you. But, fortunately, it only drops a little ways before it's done. Alright, let's weld these up and get flying. All right, come around to the front again, get your seat in front of you, and sit back down. Now, this is just a passenger seat, so it doesn't really have the ability to control things through the G menu, so you're going to have to go back into your K menu, find the remote control, and go down to the control option. Now, you are, in fact, controlling yourself. I'd press V, give yourself a better view of what's going on, and here's some tips on how to fly this thing. You have braking force, so that's why we put them in the orientation we did. We can push ourselves this way, we can push ourselves this way, but then we're now drifting in that direction. So hold down the arrow key on your keyboard, rotate around until your two thrusters turn on, and they will arrest your movement. Using the arrow keys instead of the mouse keeps your ship perfectly level. But you do have a gyroscope. One of the easier ways to fly is hold forward. Holding forward doesn't push you forward, but what it does is keeps it so that that forward-facing thruster stays turned off. You can back up a ways. If you gain altitude, you'll be able to go up above this mountain here. Gain altitude by holding the space bar, you know. And now we're flying forward, and we're tilted slightly to the side like this. And when I let go of the controls, it's going to stop me. I'm slowing down, and there we go. We're stationary again. So, let's fly around until we find an ice lake to land on, right? guys and there you have it how to land exactly where you want to on any planet with a drop pod in space engineers happy new year and i'll see you next time